Now that we've understood this basic idea of what the brain looks like, let's talk about what problems would happen with MS. What is your most important classic MS symptom? You say MS, you've got to say this symptom. Optic neuritis. Optic neuritis has to come to your mind the moment somebody says MS, right? So first off, straight off by saying optic neuritis, you're going to have visual disturbances. Number two, your color vision is going to get affected. So your MS patients are going to have problem with color vision. It'll be more annoying than anything else, but you will have some pain, especially with eye movement. So you're going to have eye pain. Now that is something that's going to happen because of optic neuritis. Straight off the bat, you get something we call as a Marcus Gunn pupil, which is also known as RAPD, which stands for Relative Afferent Pupillary Defect. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to say that this patient here has MS and therefore has optic neuritis. So this is known as your relative afferent pupillary defect, also known as Marcus Gunn pupil, very classic of MS. Very classic of MS. So whenever you think of Marcus Gunn pupil, you think of MS. The moment you say MS, you think eyes. Your eyes are painful, your color vision is gone, your vision is affected, and now you can't constrict. You've got a Marcus Gunn pupil. Something more important, something more interesting, more unique. So much so if this patient's got this, it is... MS unless proven otherwise. But what is much more unique for MS? INO, very good. INO is very, very unique to MS. INO is known as intranuclear ophthalmoplegia. But the uniqueness of MS is it is bilateral intranuclear ophthalmoplegia. So what you would see here is going to be bilateral intranuclear ophthalmoplegia. So much so, if you have bilateral intranuclear ophthalmoplegia, it is MS unless proven otherwise. So when it comes to the eyes, these three elements you have to know. So from now on, whenever you see a patient with MS, you think about the eye, you do your Marcus Gunn pupil, take them into a dark room and shine the light, okay? And you do see their gaze and see if they got nystagmus and if they have I know. So those are the three important elements when it comes to eyes.